If you hate ads, I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Ink Dependence keeps this blog ad-free. <laughs> Hello folks, welcome to Ink Dependence. I'm Mike, and today we have an unboxing from Yoseka Stationery. So let's get in here. I'm going from the top. Mm, okay, let's go in a little bit better. All right. So, several little parcels. Nice. All right. And uh, that's it. Okay. So, let's open this little bag first. I'm not sure what's in here. This is all stuff I ordered. They did offer to give me a couple of uh, samples of things that were sold out. So that might be what we have here. Hi Mike, thank you so much for your order again. The dominant industry inks you chose are stunning. I hope you enjoy trying them out. Christine, uh, I hope I do too. I love these little notes. I think these are great. All right. We have uh, a couple of Yoseka stationery stickers. Always good. Ooh. Oh, these feel, these feel like, uh, like ink samples. Oh, oh, look at these little bottles. How cute. Oh, interesting. It's like an ink sample card. It's thick, too. Huh. How thick that is. That's cool. So, uh, several of the Dominant Industry inks that I wanted to try out were sold out. And so they said, you know, if there's any of these you want to try out that you can't order, just let us know. We'll throw in a sample. And I didn't know they were going to be these adorable little pots. How cute is that? Dominant Industry Pearl Lapis Lazuli. Cute. Uh, Dominant Industry Pearl Sunset. I think I said, there were a couple that I'm like, hey, I'd like to get samples of these if I could, and uh, anything else you think is cool. So this is uh, Standard Maple, which I was excited to see. This is, as you can see, like a really nice peachy kind of ink. And here we have, whoa, Dominant Industry Hologram. This is a dip pin only uh, ink, but it's just full of holographic shimmer. I don't, <laughs> I don't even know if I have the things to try that out on, honestly. You're supposed to try these on... Um, uh, non-absorbent surfaces for best results. We'll see how that goes. And this is Dominant Industry Pearl Autumn Forest. Ah, oh, good. This is one I definitely wanted to try out. Look at that shimmer. Mmm. It's going to be good. All right. Very fun. Love that. Put that aside. I'll use that some other time. This is a thing I ordered. This is a Ninny Pie pen and marker, which I thought was pretty cool. This is supposed to be like a highlighter and a, uh, and a pen all in one. Let me find a piece of paper. There we go. So you can see, <laughs> this has a pen sticking out kind of at an angle and then a broad marker. Interesting stuff. No clips, so you can't come up here right now. Uh, N-I-N-I-P-I-E. <laughs> All right, that works pretty well. It's like one of those uh, direct ink porous point sort of markers. And this is the highlighter bit, which is nice and gray. Yeah, I like that. And did it smear when I wrote over it? No, it didn't smear. So you can write on it, you can write with the pen and then use the highlighter. Just fine. Uh, and this goes for 350. This is gray and black. It comes in a bunch of different colors, but this one looked like the one that I would use the most. Honestly, I love a gray highlighter. I think that's a good color. Okay. Uh, then let's get in here because I know what this is and I thought it would be fun. Uh, open this side and see what happens. Nope. Let's open this side. So, oh, yes. There we go. All right, nothing's broken. That's good. They have these little dishes on their site, and they have lots of different ones. Uh, I picked this whale because it looks like it's the right size to uh, use to, to hold all kinds of things. So, like, you can put your glass dip pen on it if you want. You could put, uh, <laughs> I feel like you even hold this Aurora just fine. And I think this will be fun. Maybe it'll be good for uh, pictures of some kind. Uh, I'm not really sure exactly what I'm going to do with it, but I think it's going to be pretty neat to have on my desk. I have a little orangutan one that I liked too, but I didn't know how big it was, so it's not for this one, this whale. There we go. At least hold those ink samples. Oh, <laughs> fun. Okay. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. Right there. Let's get into this. This should be two of the dominant industry inks. 
Oh, nice. I actually kind of forgot which ones I ordered. Because I was, I was trying to find ones that weren't sold out already. And a bunch of these I actually had in my cart and they got sold out. So, um, how do these open? No. There we go. This way. <laughs> this is taped very closed. Yep, that's one. Well, that's fun. Oh, hello, little eyedropper. Nice. Didn't really expect that. This is Earl Grey tea, which is a standard one. These go for uh, 17 bucks. This is not a cheap ink, uh, but it is a really fun bottle. And the ink looked cool. I'm like, I gotta try this. Earl Grey tea. It looks like it's going to be Earl Grey tea colored, which I'm into. We'll uh, do a swatch here in a sec. These are 25 mil bottles, as I said, for 17 bucks for the standard ones. Uh, so not the cheapest ink on the block, but it's brand new to me. So I thought I'd try it out. Thanks, patrons. You haven't become a patron yet. Think about becoming a patron. If you're not subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe button. All right. This is Tanzanite in the Pearl series. And the Pearl series are all uh, shimmering inks. And this one looks like it would be a really nice blue. You can see down at the bottom there, through the bottom of this jar, it's a nice silvery blue shimmer, is I think what that's going to look like. It looked very cool in the swatches online. So yeah, there we go. All right, let's give these a little bit of a, a little, little bit of a try. No, uh, let's try the tanzanite first. Oh, it looks purple. Interesting. Definitely a bit more purple than I was expecting. I kind of thought it was going to be a blue, but maybe I just forgot about that. Um, doesn't matter. Still looks neat. I don't often buy purples, but that does not mean I don't enjoy a, a nice purple. All right. There we go. Sticks to the letter opener and the glass dip pen very nicely, which is good. We'll see how that comes out when it dries. Usually it takes a little bit of drying time for the uh, like shimmer to show up, really. Yeah, yeah. It's going to look cool. All right. Next up, Earl Grey Tea. Cap is on there tight. These feel like really quality caps. That might feel like, a, it might seem like a strange thing to say, but it feels like a quality cap. I'll get down on the top there. There we go. But... You really see in there. Good quality capping. All right. This uh, this particular dip pen is extremely wet. It's labeled as a medium, but it is a very, very uh, <laughs> wet medium for sure. A bit of a broad medium. I think this is going to be a great color to write with. Can't wait to get this in a pen. So there you go. You can see in the tanzanite, I think. Put a little bit of non-diffuse light on there. Ooh, that blew out the camera. See a good amount of very sparkly shimmer in there. You can see that in real life. It's harder on the camera because of my diffuse light source up here. But uh, sparkles very nicely. And of course, Earl Grey tea is a very nice looking sort of tea color. Yeah, that looks cool. Uh, let's look at a couple of these uh, little little pots right quick. I don't want to do hologram because I don't have the right surface for it, but I do want to definitely try uh, Autumn Forest. This was one I was very excited to get, and then it sold out right before I hit send, I think, so I missed it. Oh, they've got a little piece of, little piece of plastic over here. Looks like uh, saran wrap -y sort of stuff. All right, go there. Is it all sunk to the bottom? I think the shimmer falls out of solution pretty quick. Which is interesting. It might make it good in a converter. Or it might make it really bad in a converter. I don't know. We'll just see. You can actually see this one change colors. As it dries. So you've got a real nice uh, foresty green underneath. 
And then as it dries, I think what we're seeing, I think what we're seeing is the shimmer, like sort of come to the top as it dries. And doesn't that look just like, it's got this kind of like coppery, coppery red shimmer in there. Isn't that just like a forest changing color, which they're doing right now. So you get these sort of like foresty leaves there. That's great. All right, I gotta try a couple more. Pearl, what's this one? Oh yeah, maple, I wanna try maple. Since we're on a tree kick, it's a really beautiful sort of maple leaf tree color. You know, let's just go ahead and do all these because why not? I've only got two more to go. This one's pearl, lapis lazuli, or lazuli. I think it's lazuli, but I've heard people say lazuli. I don't know. These glass pens hold up, <laughs> hold a bunch of ink, especially this one, which is quite wet, as I said. This is a uh, Kemi's Labo. These are handmade glass pens. I got this one from Sugar Ink. Check them out if you're looking for glass pens. I'm sure Yoseka also has some, but I haven't really shopped there for them because I really like the two I have. All right. There's Lapis Lazuli. The shimmer in these is often more subtle than I was expecting. Oh, yeah, we got to take the lid off. <laughs> you can see it's actually like bubbled out a little bit. <laughs> from the different air pressure between here and uh, Brooklyn, I want to say, is where Yoseka is located. You can also check out Yoseka's YouTube page. They have a very, uh, very nice YouTube channel, and they uh, have all kinds of like videos taken in the store with the folks who work there and run it. They're great, they're great videos. All right, so let's do this one here. I'm kind of keeping this constant by turning the pen and letting it uh, take a little bit of ink from each of those grooves as I go just to sort of empty them out. Otherwise, it will kind of bleed a, a groove dry and then there'll be nothing left. All right, there we go. Like I said, I'm not gonna do the hologram because this needs a, a opaque surface. And I don't, I don't have one around here, unfortunately. So we'll deal with that one in a bit. But these all look pretty cool. The Pearl Sunset looks really nice. It turns out to be a, like a multi-chrome kind of shimmer. Uh, Ink, shimmering ink and you got that tanzanite pearl which is still looking pretty uh pretty dark purple and you don't really see oh you see, you see a, uh, some up here even on the camera and earl gray tea industry maple or sorry uh, just called maple which turns out to be very um uh uh sort of matte finished i i think that looks cool i was really torn about which one of these to get and then this one sold out so that that made my choice for me then lapis lazuli lapis lazuli I'm going to say that, which actually has sheen and shimmer. You can definitely see some sheen in there as well. That looks really cool. And definitely the coolest of all, Autumn Forest. Holy crap, that's cool. All right, so there you go. That has been my little haul from Yoseka Stationery. You can find all this stuff at their uh, their website. Uh, dominant. Oh, yeah, I just noticed that the, uh, the Pearl ones have a gold foil logo on there so you can tell which one of these which ones these are at a glance that's cool all right thanks very much for watching i'll see y'all in the next video peace out